There is no denying how good dragons have been in the Town Hall 10, no siege meta, or at any Town Hall level for that matter. One of the true tests of skill is delivering a 3 star attack with something else. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Magnus and in this video we will be looking at some of the attacks coming out of Valmargolis' week 5 war against War Biatch over in the NDL Superfly Division. Before we get into these replays, please subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell if you're enjoying the sieges action we're focusing on lately as we grind hit 1000 subscribers before the end of the year and are working to deliver exciting attacks in each video. So thank you so much for supporting me along the way. Now let's fly into these replays. In this first attack, we've got Cory, who came in with the six pack in this war, delivering us with the P.E.K.K.A. Smash at Town Hall 10. Using some P.E.K.K.A.s on the uh, edges here, he sets up the funnel, having set up a Quake to gain access to the core. Main group of P.E.K.K.A.s with the CC Bowlers and the Queen are going to come under a heal. Getting that Lord in the Clan Castle, we've got the jump to gain access to the back end. Poison now down to keep the witches from developing more Larrys. Getting a raid to cover the bowlers and the Pekkas as we push through to now to the backside of this base. Sprinkling in a couple of hogs, trying to take out these defenses at the top. Unfortunately, these uh, this main push has been focusing on the bottom section of the base as we now begin to wrap our ways around to the top. Hogs coming in, they're going to come in at the 6 o'clock. We've cleared out an archer tower and a mortar. Barbarian King still alive, working on some cleanup at this back end of the base. Phasing our archer queen, we're going to clear out everything on this back end here. Hogs are going to clear out the cannon and unfortunately will then die out before that goes down. Having now beat through the back end of the base, the Pekkas unfortunately are not tanking for the Archer Queen. She managed to somehow to get out of range and does not get locked onto again, which is pretty OP here as the queen can now take care of that cannon and the archer tower. Barb's coming in at the OP time, distracting the archer tower long enough for the queen to take out the uh, archer tower that was there. And with a few seconds on the clock, we're gonna have everything beat on four different wall segments. Queen is going to take care of that Elixir Collector before dealing with the Expo, dies to the Expo, and with this single P.E.K.K.A. remaining, Cory's going to slash down that Expo for that first 3 star. In this attack, we have Hero coming in with the Zap Lalo. Clearing out a sweeper, a expo, and the inferno at the core. Hero setting up that funnel. Finding two Teslas initially here. We've got our heroes coming in at the top side of the base with the CC Golem helping to tank. Enemy Queen aggroing onto the King. He can't get through to her, unfortunately, but the Queen does step up, laying out those Expo shots onto her. Queen's gonna pop the ability here, clearing out these defenses at the bottom section of the base. Barbarian King ability will be used in this top compartment, clearing out the other Inferno Tower, as well as a Archer Tower and the Air Defense. That 80 does not go down to the king, but it doesn't matter. We're going to start our Lalo from the top section of the base. First group of hounds and loons coming in. We're going to send in now our second hound and remaining 
afternoon starting to sprinkle in at the three o'clock. No spells being used at this stage of the attack, however. Sending in our final hound. We're gonna save these spells for the bottom section as we get into a heavy splash radius. First haste now being used, sending these loons over these core defenses. Another haste being deployed as we are going to send it over the last wizard tower. Getting a nice split on these loons. They are going to path over taking care of the ground bows, the archer tower, the bomb tower, and the remaining cannons. With still three loons in the pocket, Hero's gonna come in with a nice Zap Lalo triple. Our next attack is going to be another P.E.K.K.A. Smash coming in by Swap this time. Again with the P.E.K.K. is coming in at the corners of the base to establish the funnel. With the nice party wizards being utilized, we're going to get that jump in gaining access to the core of the base. With the funnel being established, the P.E.K.K.A.s, heroes, and CC bowlers are going to push in against this defending clan castle. With a heap of spells being dropped in the middle here. As that clan castle goes down, we're going to get our last jump, gaining access to the remaining uh, Inferno Tower, defending Barbarian King. Barbarian King is going to use his own ability, clearing out this compartment at the top side of the base. Giant doing some work here, knocking on that wall, looking to gain access to that wizard tower, but it doesn't matter. The queen's going to come into play here, clear out that wizard tower. Queen's going to come back, take the jump, take the jump again. She's actually going to go to the top section of the base, clearing out that air defense and the wizard tower. Peck is in the bottom section, beating through walls, gaining access to these archer towers. Party Wizards clearing up the back end of this base. Swap's going to send in his hogs now as a total swag move as they weren't needed for the rest of this attack. Bringing in another P.E.K.K.A. 3-star attack. Our final attack is going to come in from Van with a Zap Lalo clearing out the... Uh, Expo and Inferno Tower in the core of the base. Starting at the 9 o'clock, we're looking to set up the funnel to gain some extra value here. Luring out that clan castle, we find a hound and a loon. Van's going to lure them over to his queen, getting that Tesla out of the way. Queen's going to take care of these ground larries, getting that poison down for the loon so she, uh, she doesn't go down to his drop shots. And as the hound pops, the poison should capture everything here with help of a baby dragon. Queen barely stays on with a shred of health. Our barbarian king should hopefully help tank for this archer queen. Now phasing her ability, we're going to beat through the remainder of that Tesla farm. Barbarian King ability will now be used, clearing out that other Inferno Tower and an air defense. Queen has now died out at the top center of this base, but Van coming in with the Lalo at the top section. As these loons fly across the top of the base, the queen is going to step within range of these hounds. Getting those skeleton spells down to distract the queen after the loons were distracting the wizard tower. We're going to clear out the other wizard tower. Over a haste, we're going to come in against the backside 
fighting a sweeper for a small portion of this attack. Final haste being used here as these loons will cross across this compartment. Van's gonna come in with a three star attack, but not only that, he came in this war with also a six pack. And while I'm not gonna show the other one, Mitch did come in this war also with a six pack. So GG to those guys. We'll speed up the remainder of this attack as the loons and pups clear up the remaining trash on the bottom section of this base, bringing in our final three star attack. Valor Magold is coming out of week five with nearly a perfect war. I promised ODS I wouldn't expose who missed out on that final attack. The team at War Bees performed well, having one of their best wars of the season. GG's for the remainder of the season. Valor Magolas will find themselves against six paths for week six, a clan having similarly mixed results. Certainly be an entertaining war coming up. I appreciate you taking some time out of your day to check out these three star attacks. If you are enjoying the No Siege content, please do consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. If you have any requests, please put it down in the comment section below. Until next time guys, take care.